Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mega Modded Gungeon. We're playing Modular again here and Never Named is joining us this time. Hello, hello. He installed he installed the Never Named module. The Never Named module, I did. The Never Named module of module. Yeah. Of modular. And we're just going to jump in and play another one of this guy. I just everyone aware that I drew the first modular fan art years ago for the original version of the modular. What was the original version? Because I don't know anything about it. It was kind of this, but like way more simplified and way less interesting. And didn't uh, anyways, have a past. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I didn't have scrap mechanics or energy or anything. Yeah, It was yeah. just modules. Anyways, there is something you... Have you... Is this your second run ever as module? Second run ever as module, yeah. Well, uh... I, well, you'll see. I'll see. Is there something new when you start a second run? When, uh, when it loads, you'll see. When it loads. If it loads. Gunjin is temperamental. If it loads. It'll load. Don't worry. The Bulletkin's having a spasm. That probably means something's happening in the background. It does. Look at him. With his little face. Contemplating. Yeah. I love that they made the chamber a character in Exit. <laughs> Canonically, that is one of the bosses in Exit the Gunjin. Huzzah, we are here. We're using the alt skin. Oh my lord, what the fuck? What is this? You'll see. You get to pick your starter gun. Ooh. Interesting. I like that. So we've got... So, yeah, the modular gets... Uh, less... Uh, he gets... He doesn't get guns, but after beating the past once, you unlock the ability to uh, start with a weapon from this curated list. That's pretty cool. We got the scatter cannon... Scatter cannon six pellets with uh, one shot. Like the idea of that. Uh, we've got quad shot, four shot burst gun. Sounds pretty good. Oh, that's good. quad burster. I thought it said quad blaster. Quad blaster. Charge blaster. Ch charge shotgun. Charge up to uh, fire a fast high damage shot. Ooh, I like the idea of that. Precision rifle can pierce. That's pretty cool. Uh, the Artemis charge up and um, change the accuracy, and then we've got the Light Lance melee weapon. Ooh! I think I'm gonna go with the Charge Blaster to start with. So yeah, that's the the thing I said you'll see. That's pretty you get cool. To choose your starter gun now. As that's modular. pretty darn cool. I really like. I I have to admit, considering like. Considering the way that this character works with not letting you have weapons, I was a little concerned on the replayability of the character because, like, always having the same gun, but this this adds a lot. This adds a lot. Yeah. Also, I said there were alt weapon skins. There are alt weapon skins for all of them. Wow, okay. And so you beat I the passive each one. I don't know if you unlock them all as at once or if you have to do each one individually. All I know is that each one has an alt skin. Okay, damn. I have to say, this weapon is strong, but goddamn, the reload is hella slow. We're gonna have to get some modules to increase you our reload have speed. To, you have a, a five-shot clip. You don't have yeah, to reload I know, after I know. every shot. I know, I know. But still, I'm, I, I reloaded prior to coming into this room. Oh, really? I hit again. Okay, I'm already shitting the bed here. That this don't reload worry. is so slow. It. Holy shit. You'll probably want to go for fire uh, did, rate did, did you then. have you watched the uh, the first part of this like the, the first episode I played as this guy? Yes. Okay. I gotta say because I cheated a lot to get the win. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like an extraordinary amount. So I don't ever end up actually I'm... getting a pass kill this time around. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. No, I, I feel like it was necessary because I wanted to do a proper showcase. I wanted to see everything, dude. Okay. I've been hit time three gotta... times already. Yeah, how, how did you get hit by that? Because I wasn't paying much attention, that's how. Maybe maybe you should pay attention. So apart from the starter gun, everything's the same as it was the first time. Yeah. I actually saw uh, it this time. Bunny can't um, program, or at least he can't very easily program modules that change the fundamental way your gun fires. So there's no such thing as a charge module. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or a melee module. He could honestly make a melee module, but making it a distinct starter is just better. Man, I'm having a real hard time killing this thing. So... I, my aim assist is just, like, not agreeing with me whatsoever. There you go. 
Right, we got Gravity Well, greatly reduces rate of fire, uh, projectiles gain a massive piercing and greatly reduce speed, enemies are pulled towards, that sounds really cool. Um, increased Number damage. is how powerful Bunny thinks they are. Yeah, 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 I, 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 I noticed that, yeah. Adds one and piercing, it also generally indicates damage. how much energy they use. It uses three. I'm gonna try this one because it's it sounds kind of interesting. Um, yeah. And then we what, what do we do? We do this, and then I go like that. Yeah, baby. Even the menu's green. Oh yeah, I didn't the, even know that. The menu's cool. I like that. No, but like uh, with the regular skin, it's blue. But with the <laughs> the alt skin, he made the menu green. I've only got two shots a clip. This is gonna be brutal. <laughs> well, if it pulls them in like it said. It's useful in this every is... room but this one. I gotta say, this room is yeah, fucking awful Yeah, you might want to use the uncharged for shot for here, so you're just not hitting the walls. I mean, that was powerful even with an uncharged shot. It was. Dude, this is... This is a pretty good that's setup. A, that's a really good module, like, even with the reduced clip size, that's a really yeah. good module. Also, this is gonna be remember fun. that module that gives you a uh, plus one bullet in the clip? Oh, that's going to be useful. Yeah, that, I didn't that even think about that. That you said was useless. Yeah, because I thought it was. I thought it'd be really like dumb because most times you always. I thought you always had that pistol, but you don't, and it makes a lot more sense now. Yeah. Also, Bunny said that that. Uh, I believe that's that's a flat plus one. It doesn't change with modifiers. So, clip reductions. Why does it doesn't my? Um, it isn't affected by clip reductions. What, I don't think. Like. My, my uh, uncharged shot seems to have homing. My charged one doesn't. Oh, no, I think so your charged one does have homing. It's it just, just moves fast. Shot speed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does. You're right. You're right. Yeah, it's just being a bit gimped by your shot speed. This is so cool. This is. I, I'm like definitely gonna before, die on this run. I've lost so I, much health. I've been praising Bunny to no end. Uh, for the modular because he absolutely deserves it. Oh yeah, it's like amazing. Get the fuck out from behind there, you little shit. Please don't get hit by a bullet, Ken. God Please. Damn. I, I even asked nicely. Yeah, I definitely need some modules to increase my reload speed by a lot. <laughs> But yeah, Modular is the best custom... Uh, no, no, Gene's the best custom character, but Modular's <laughs> a close second. Holy Honestly. water, no f cur no cursed floors. Ah, oh, nice one, nice one, that's nice. That will help me, because curses do cause problems for me. Uh, wait a minute, can we... Um... Yes, you can scrap health. Yes. It's reload a full clip. Yep. Awesome. The scrap, baby. Scrap I'm the it, scrap, scrap man. It, scrap it to the limit. I, I throw scrap all over the ring. <laughs> I'm the scrap man. Love it. Uh, so, it's been too long. What have you... Has... That's pathetic, dude. Come on. Dodge the hand. What have you been up to, my dear friend of mine, who I love? I have been playing an extraordinary amount of a game called Battlebit, and that's pretty much it. I've been neglecting YouTube because I've been playing it so much. Basically, it's... Man, man plays League of Legends, dies of dehydration. Oh, Lord. Basically, it's Battlefield, but, like, made by three developers, and it looks like Roblox. But, goddamn, it's, like, one of the best FPS games I've ever played. Is it Roblox? It's not Roblox. It's, it's not built in Roblox. It's just the graphics look a bit Robloxy. But, goddamn, it's, like, one of the oh, yeah, best FPS games I've ever played. <laughs> Was it one you sent and there was a picture of a soldier lying yes. prone looking like someone was shoving a finger up his ass? It, that, that is the exact one, yes. Um, yeah, he's and getting his prostate checked. I've just been playing an extreme amount of that. I've got 90 hours in it and it came out like a week ago. Fair enough. I'm just thinking now, like, sometimes I'll say something and it'll click in my head. That's a really good name for a gun. And it's like the prostate checker is a really good name for a parody gun. <laughs> because, holy fuck, can you imagine fighting somebody and they pull out a gun called the Prostate Checker? <laughs> like, that you would not fight that man. No, you would not. 
I have to say, I definitely think I picked the wrong gun for this gravity well thing, because this is... I'm killing stuff. It's so cool, but I'm killing stuff so goddamn slow. Remember, you can always change up your modules later. True. Um... So... Uh... Anyways, yeah, have you had your prostate checked? I have not, not yet. I'm getting close like to that age, though. I'm getting close to that age. It's like 30. Yeah, isn't, isn't, it, isn't it 30 when you're supposed to first get it checked? I don't know. I'm not I think 30. It is. I don't need to care. I'm like 25 now, so I'm getting there. Mm, he's getting old. We'll have to take him out behind the shed and shoot him. Sadly, yeah, we will. I am decrepit. I will say, though, the homing is helping because it requires you to not have to aim. It is helping, yes. Uh, is guaranteed it? fire bullets. Taking damage sets the player on fire. While on fire, we'll leave a trip. Maybe good. I'll probably end up killing myself with this, but it's not what I meant to do. Fuck's sake. Um, there you go. Yeah. Because it's a double heart, I think it gives yeah, you it two does. scrap. It does. Yeah, baby. I love scrap. I love scrap. I rub it on my nipples. <gasps> Hello. It's annoying that I didn't know that this was here. Flat bullets. Nothing that good. Flat bullets plus two damage is pretty good. Right, let's try and do a flawless yeah. here. Because that gives us more energy, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Each master round gives you plus one energy, and it doesn't increase the scrap cost of upgrading. So they're really good. And all it requires you to do is not suck. So we're never going to get it. Well, I just think this is going to be a fairly slow boss fight is all, because um, I don't really think using the charge version is as worthwhile. And the gravity doesn't do anything. I, I probably should have unequipped the gravity module for this fight, because it doesn't do anything against the boss. Well, it does, it does a bit. It doesn't uh, do much. Homing. It's homing and piercing, but not much else. It does seem to be destroying shots here and there as well, by the looks of it. Uh, I need to get my lump checked. Your lump. Your lovely yeah. lady lumps. I've developed a lump. Oh lord, where? On my hand. Hmm. Hopefully that's not something terrible. You know, it's just like... It's just like old old Grandpa Joe said, you know. Grandpa Joe Clampett would always say, Touch yourself too much and you'll get a lump. Oh lord. Oh lord. So that's, that, that's, that's why, is it? You've been no. chronically masturbating. I don't think I chronically masturbate with the 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 base of my palm. <laughs> <laughs> Although that would be quite a sight to behold. It would. Um, no, I've got a. It almost looks like a highly localized varicose vein. One oh, of the right. veins in my the palm of my hand is bulging out, and I don't know why. I that just woke strange. up with it a few weeks ago. Did you like Doc bang your hand it, on it, something? No, no, it doesn't bang my hand. It didn't bruise or anything. No injury as far as I'm aware. Just woke up one day with it. I'm really sick of just waking up and being medically <laughs> worse. I gotta say, like, you get your steroid thing for your uh, sinuses and it's like, nah, nah. You, you've, you've, you've had that healed, but now, now there's something new. Yeah, like I woke up, the reason my shoulder hurts is because I woke up and it hurt. And I don't know why. I'm getting really fucking sick of just waking up and degrading. <laughs> Yeah. I guess that's age. It's, it's my, my my systems are all going with age. Right. Plus one shot to our clip, we probably want to take that. Um, damage. Divided yeah, cliff. Just check if there's... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Ooh, thank you. Plus one bounds could be interesting. It, it might help your charge shot, but I think the clip will help your damage output. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take that. And it's low energy cost as well, which is useful. Yeah. How much scrap do we need? Eight. God damn. It's a lot. Yeah, but you got one for free from the master end. Yeah, I did. Right. We are golden. We are we are good, good, good. Um, so the next one? Yeah, I just woke up with this lump on my hand one day. Wait, did I not gain uh, armor from the master round, though? No, Aww. the armor gain is replaced by an energy gain. Damn it. Okay, this character's... I'm gonna die. <laughs> I thought I'd gain armor from that as well. I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> well, 
you you gained armor by not losing armor. Well, true, true, but still, I was really hoping I'd gain armor there because I lost a by lot of HP on that first end, floor. You'll just have to play well, God forbid. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> just do your best, sweetums. We can try a different starter gun if if you if it's really too hard for you and you die. We can try a different starter gun for you. Okay. Luckily, I set all enemies on fire now, so that's gonna help. I think Pattern. it's only a or chance beyond a fire immune. So yeah, apart from things that are fire immune. Dude, die already, you little shitbag. I will say those projectiles seem to have an ungodly large hitbox, which makes yeah. it difficult to hit things near walls. So, um, I also think that hot coal description is wrong. Uh, I think Smarpy said it should only be 50% chance, which is still ungodly high. Uh, but it's only a 50% chance to burn. Can I scrap the blank? I think I can, can't I? You probably can. You can scrap most things. Yeah. There you go, two as well. Nice. Armor, please. Yes! Oh man, scramp! Scramp! Give it a scramp! I love, I love scramping. Give me all the scramp. Um, but yeah, the lump started on a vein. I've seen a doctor about it. Uh, she said, I don't fucking know, mate. Uh, just don't die, I guess. And uh, it's gotten bigger, so I want to go back. Yeah, she just slapped it and was like, yeah, look, it's fucked. Yeah, she poked it and said, uh, does that hurt? Does it hurt when I do this? And I said, luckily for you, no. <laughs> um, uh, but but yeah, that's just been something that's mildly concerning me. Hope that I don't have fair. a blood clot that goes to my brain and gives me a stroke. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Maybe it'll go to your hand and give you a stroke. Uh... Oh, the, oh, right. Yeah, no, I, I, get the, I get the joke. I get the reference. <laughs> the reference. I wouldn't really call yeah. it a reference. I I get the reference to masturbation. I, I sounds like a kid on the playground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know what sex is, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> um. But yeah, it's been my medical horrors. Oh, did I tell you uh, that I was in an, that I had to have an ambulance called recently? I you did not know. Yeah. Um, fortunately, it wasn't super serious. Well, it was super serious, but they, they went away. So I woke up not able to breathe properly. A lot. And I don't know why. And do they know why now, or did it never? No, they, they never don't figured know it why out. Now. Are you sure you wasn't just yeah. having a panic attack? Isn't that like a sign of a panic attack? Uh, could be. It's never been a symptom of a panic attack for me before, but it could well be. Just a, a new symptom that's just started to manifest itself, you know? Yeah, because I've, I've heard of people having just it before where you get, like, really giggles. sort of short of breath and struggle breathing if you have a panic attack. Yeah, for, for me... Ah, the Retromation Room, my beloved. Oh my um, gosh. for me... So... I woke up and I, I physically felt like I couldn't breathe. My, it felt my, like my lungs were smaller. So I yeah. rang up a, a help thing, a medical helpline, and they called an ambulance on my behalf because they felt it appropriate. That, yeah, that makes sense. Do, 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 that slow thing would help your charge shots with homing. Um, no, didn't it say project I'll start slow and get fast? Yeah, they start slow and get fast after one second. Could work. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. I mean, it can't hurt to try it. Surely. Let's give it a go. Um, I've got enough energy to use it as well. Awesome. So, yeah, they came. They they took some tests. They rigged me up and did an ECG. And they said that I had no problems they could find with my heart or lungs. And they're not sure what the fuck was wrong with me. Strange. I don't know if this is helping, I'll be honest. Well, at least it did say that it would deal 20% of its speed as damage, so it is also functionally a damage up. Yeah, that's nice. 
Um, but yeah, they just gave me some stuff for the pain of it and some stuff to relax me a little and they, they let me go. Nice. They, they didn't actually take me anywhere. So I, I don't, I let them go. <laughs> they were actually, like, they I, were like, we've healed you. Get out of this house. <laughs> this is, we've healed you. This is you our house now. <laughs> you discharged from your lounge. <laughs> I mean, it was quite a scary way to start a morning. Oh, but, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm it glad sounds I'm not it. dead. It certainly sounds it. Yeah, I don't like I don't like not being able to breathe. Turns out really fucking sucks. Yeah. Helix bullets. Nice. See, and this is where the run starts to snowball. <laughs> oh, my lord. What the fuck was that? There's so much fire here. I don't like it. There's too much fire. Please stop. Hmm. Is that the, uh, that looks like the effect that was described for the hot coal, but, but I it said when I damage. get hit, I'm just going to use a blank yeah. here and fucking get out of the dodge because it's scaring the shit out of me. Yeah, this is a mean room. <laughs> I love it. I commend whoever made this. Well, it's, it uses Bunny's trap, so Bunny made this. I commend you, Bunny, again. I was scared. Man, bunnies, bunnies, funny. Oh, uh, that means synergy? it has a synergy. Power up. Does that just mean I get more power um, in my thingy? Yes, it does. It literally, it, it literally just gave me plus one power. Very nice. Yeah, nice. Because the the mod page did say that uh, items that have that arrow over them have uh, special interactions with the modular. Yeah. I don't think I will probably want to take any of these, do I? Um, yeah, I probably don't want to take any of those on a run like this. Those are for special reasons only. God damn special, this, this, special reasons for special boys like me. The size of the projectiles are problematic. Yeah, I wonder if there's a, a projectile size down module. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did you Vietnam? Why did, where's Nam? Uh, yeah, Helix Bullets plus these large projectiles seem to be really causing some issues, watch. Like, it's doing some weird stuff. I think that's just a visual problem with the trail. However Bunny's coded it. Yeah, the, the, the trailing oil thing is not working as it should. Wait, are you shooting double? Are you shooting four projectiles when you charge? I don't know, maybe? The, whatever they're doing, they're not traveling the distance they should be. It seems that that accelerating thing has, has caused some problems. I might I might see if I can turn that off and see yeah. if that... Yeah. I mean, that is one nice thing about the modular. You can turn off modules indefinitely and turn them back on again later. Yeah, that's fixed it. By the looks of it. All right. Oh, of course, because it, it also adjusts the movement of the projectile, and Helix probably... Isn't playing nice. Oh, no, there. no, no. That, it made no difference. See, this is oh, why I dude. love the modular. Every run is unique. One minute. I've got an itch on my neck. Oh. Oh, my God. You should just, like, wear chainmail or something at this point. I, I wish. Immediately scratch the itches the moment they appear. Rocket, fuck off. I need to reload. <laughs> Small Palestinian child. Oh, you fucking bitch of a game! Oh, I didn't roll that way, you sausage, mate. I kind of want to die. This blank. This, you have one blank. I know. This this gun at the minute it fucking sucks for killing bosses. The reload is so slow. Tough it, tough it out, big boy. You'll get another module from the boss. But I wanted a mass around from the boss. But you've got plenty of energy now, and hopefully you'll get a nice, fresh new module for Christmas. All wrapped up and ready for you to use it. Also, um, seeing the modular path makes me want to try and work on enemies at some point. I've been spriting them a lot nice. lately. Yeah, cool. I sprited uh, a shotgun skell, uh, the RPG Genie. And Genie's nice, I like that. Uh, a muskin. 
which uh, I did all the sprites for them. <sighs> and I have this bad habit of adding new behaviors as I'm animating, because, yeah, that'll look cool. Increase <laughs> knockback, clip capacity, entering a new floor restores an armor, scrapping pickups uh, items restores one armor. I think I need to take that. Go for it, um, dude. I won't judge you. Health gen's good. And make sure I actually turn that on. <laughs> yeah, it'd be funny if you didn't. Right. Why isn't my regenerative plating working? <laughs> I've got the module and everything. I'll buy uh, some scrap. Scrap. Hello, scrap. Hello, Hello scrap. scrap. Uh, it's nine. Scrap. Why does it cost nine now? God damn it. Because you've upgraded it once already. <laughs> no, it I haven't. It, I haven't upgraded it once it cost... already. Then how are you at seven? I haven't used any scrap yet. I've, the only upgrade I've got is my master round. And the health, the health oh, no, upgrade. The, the, my bet is that the health upgrade uh, increased the, scap, the scrap cap. Because uh, Bunny only said master rounds don't increase the ah, scrap okay. cap. Okay, so I, that I'd wager that the health upgrade gave you a free energy, but increased the scrap cap anyways, because it's not a master round. Yeah, that must Could be, be wrong, but that's my guess. That must be it. I have been playing a lot of Disco Elysium lately. Ooh, yes, I've heard a lot of good things. I've got one of my friends is big into Disco Elysium. He's played it a good few times. Talks about it quite a lot. I've heard a lot of good things. Why do I have a 0 0.66 damage down? My, my multiplier is low. Uh, didn't you take a thing that did that? Most of them. Don't remember, but most of them. Um, I mean, to be honest, your your uncharged shot is already a pretty good weapon. It is, yeah. I'm I'm mainly using the uncharged shot because it seems to be far more stable for killing things. Just because the the charge shot currently kind of phases out instantly for some reason, I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, just go Elysium's great. I'm really. Oh, uh, the it. damage damage from Helix shot, of course. Oh, duh. I should have caught that. Now, now I look like oh, I'm eating crow. Oh, yeah, you're I, the I, one who realized you're the one who realized something mechanical about your run. Oh, it's unthinkable. I'm stupid. No, it's my job to figure it out and complain. But yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Disco Elysium. It's very nice. It's a very it's a very heavy role playing game, isn't it? Eh, a little. Um, uh, it, it is kind of like cop noir D and D. Yeah. Roll for, uh... Oh, dude. Esprit or... The fact that my charge shot just no longer works is pissing me off. It's so useful and it just, like, has no range anymore. Oh. And it sets me on fire. Fuck. Bunny. Bunny, darling. Bunny, your modular is broken. Bunny, your fly is down. Your modular is showing. God, this morning was uh, a bit of a hassle. I was really trying to figure out how to fix something with a gun I'm working on, the Bejeweler. Yeah. And it took me a while to realize, no, my code is just working the way I programmed it to. <laughs> it's not broken. You just programmed bad. Yeah, it's not broken. I just... I'm just stupid. Those are the worst kind of issues, where you realize that it was working right all along. Damn it. Healthy bullets is so OP, and we don't have red health. Well, you might be able to sell it or something. Well, to be fair, it's, it's, a, it's a good item regardless, because the green bullets can't deal damage to you, and you get a damage up if you um, touch them while you're at full health. Oh, well, fair enough then. Well, I, I don't know why you're complaining. Well, it's just because if I had red health, it'd be even more OP. Have you ever heard the term uh, looking a gift horse in the mouth? I have. I am not doing that. You are looking that gift horse so hard in its mouth, dude. You are like the gift horse dentist. Um, excuse me? Oh god, I love wall collision. You can blank it out if you really care that much. Thank you. Um, 
Yeah, there's like a slight sliver of collision where pickups can get stuck inside walls, but the player can't go high enough to get them. Very annoying. It's, it's just a thing, but blanks typically knock them out of it. Boom goes yeah, the I, dynamite. I, I want to ask Bunny at some point to give me a, a, a comprehensive uh, Irish education on uh, dungeon enemies. <laughs> oh, what, what? This man has what, teleporting what, powers. Wait, what? Huh? It's one of his uh, powers from the um, champion effects when you're playing on Robros. But he green. He, they can have more than one. This what? bullshit. He's once hacking. You, once you get up to a Robros, I think it's eight. Um, I think it's eight. Or seven or what? They can start having two at once. He, I think he's hacking. He's hacking, bro. He's hack a lacking, baby. Get over here, you cube boy. But modules yeah, we hit... past is so hard. I, Mod I yeah. almost died multiple times. Modules past uh, is even... very difficult. I got a bug, actually, that let me keep a couple of my modules, and Bunny wasn't sure why I was able to keep those modules. Lucky you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I got a bug that let me keep a triple shot and an electrical... Oh, what the fuck? Uh... <laughs> That's kind of horse shit. <laughs> I got a bug that let me keep a triple shot and electrical uh, bullets nice. module. So I was able to melt pretty much everything in the past and I still almost died. Yeah, I gotta say that past is like really long and very, very difficult. <laughs> but it's cool, I like it. Yeah. Now. Well, it's a it's a meaty bit of content. It's not just a boss fight. The fake out boss as well, that's just impeccable. Yeah, I love that. Oh fuck me. Great. <laughs> It doesn't even fucking reach. You can probably disable it. I don't care. Just fucking fuck you, you stupid game bitch. That was some bullshit right there. I thought you didn't care. I don't care. It still was bullshit. I don't care. No, I, I'm, I don't care. I'm just seething for fun. Yes, exactly. I'm always seething for fun. God, I love I love people who are like that in, in like serious contexts, <laughs> where it's like, no, I don't care. I don't care. I'm no, I'm crying because of how much I don't care. Shadow clone. Ooh, sack of pickups might be really good for scrapping and getting a lot of armor. That would also be good, and a uh, Shadow Clone with homing probably wouldn't go amiss either. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually nice. fucking kidding me? That's, that's, a, bit nice, fucking, that's a bit fucking rude. <laughs> <laughs> the scrap, the, the pit must be fed. Yeah, I didn't really think about how good Shadow Clone would be actually. I might, might take Shadow Clone instead. I just, I just worry I'm not going to be able to make enemies good enough, you know? Oh, no, no, that's not a problem. You definitely will. <laughs> it's you we're talking about. You'll find a way. See, that confidence is what makes me unsure. Because everyone expects such high things. If my enemy is shit, it'll be like, hey, you got no talent. I accidentally threw a pen across the room because I was trying to <laughs> twirl it between that, my yeah. fingers. I, heard I was trying that. to twirl it between my fingers to look cool, but I accidentally just threw it across the room. I am oh, very shit. talented. I see. need a key. Is it a mimic? No. Okay. Can you kick it? Yes, you can. Let's do the boss you first, like I guess, a... then. Yeah. If you think you can handle that. Sack of pickups might give you a key. But then again, it might not. Do you want to gamble that? <sighs> Probably not, no. So just take the boss, then. Let's see. Do the boss first. Green. I will say, even though this, uh, this, uh, collection of modules, uh, loadout is the word I was looking for, isn't the best, it's still shockingly unique. 
Yeah, yeah, and the thing is as well, it's, it's, it's like one or two modules away from being crazy good. Like, you just know there's a few things that I could pick up here and there that could just make this insane. Modular is a character where I feel like every what every run is just one uh, or two no, modules no, away no, from no, being no. No, no, excuse me, fucking bullshit, I hit a green bullet and it dealt damage to me. That's not how this fucking item works. Don't bullshit me like that, I've been walking into green bullets the whole fucking time. You can't just then say, no, this one green bullet, this one does damage. I will be Roll giving back the myself- Roll footage. Roll back the footage. I will be spawning myself in the master round if I don't get it legit here, because yeah. that is some Yeah, that, that was pretty, bullshit. that was pretty bullshit. I saw that, and that it is that does is what it look that does is what it looks like happened there, boss. Um, okay, yeah, it just happened. Again. I just tested it. It just happened again. I walked into it. Okay, so we're spawning in two uh, two um, armor and a master round at the end of this fight. As long as I don't get hit by a red bullet. This is a bleak item, right? Yeah, it is. It's a really broken item, <laughs> both bleak. in terms of how it functions and in terms of how balanced it is. It's really broken. When's the last time bleak got uh, bleak's mod updated? A oh, long time ago, I think. I'm pretty sure Bleak, Bleak told me to gotta, install it. <laughs> I can't remember. Gotta get you out of retirement. You gotta get you out of retirement to fix the healthy bullets. It's like a, a like a mob, or like a crime thriller, or like a heist film, where yeah. they have to get an old criminal out of retirement. Like, yeah, I've got an old friend who can help us get into the vault, but he's retired. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go to like where he's hiding in Bahama. And uh, get him, get him out of retirement and fix healthy bullets. <laughs> go get him. I feel like I go on the most asinine tangent sometimes. So great. Why not? Well, joke typically Man. isn't funny if you spend 15 minutes on setup. This is taking so fucking long. No, this is a pretty normal cannon bell rock boss fight. Stop doing the rollies! I can't hit you when you're doing the rollies. My bullets are too fucking slow. Molding. There you go. He's, right. You're gonna get male pattern moldness. Moldness. Right. This can be yeah. scrapped, you, obviously. You, you earned the uh, the master room. Yes. Yeah. Uh, right. I won't dispute that. Patient zero. Chance to poison enemies on hit and spawn poison pools on projectile destruction. Hurting enemies can spread debuffs to other nearby enemies, breaking their resistances. Slain enemies cause an outbreak, greatly reducing resistances and causing panic. Interesting. Um, slightly reduced rate of fire and reduce damage. Um, ooh, yes, please. That's so fucking good, dude. I had that on my winning run. Right. That is um, so good. So first of all, I need to go give armor um, uh, two and give... And then give master round three. Not 34. We, we haven't quite reached <laughs> though, that, though, that level of custom floors yet. Um, and I will take off the jet propelling for now and put on the five shot salute. Oh, wait, no, I can have both on. Wait, no, I can't because that costs two. Yes. Yes. Cool. Okay. Right. We didn't yeah, get a key. See what your shots look like. Oh, yeah, true. true. Not in the shop, preferably. Yes. Nice. No uncharged. Why'd you... You reload after every shot. Nice. Nice. Right. Wait. Did we already get a passive this floor? We did, didn't we? We got healthy bullets. So this is going to be a gun. Do, True, does, but it does, is also going to be an... Does the quality of the chest change anything? Uh, the higher tier the item is, the higher chance you have of getting, like, tier 3 modules and shit. Okay, Like, we'll really high-power modules. It's not still guaranteed, but it's just higher chances. Um, fifty percent more damage to nearby enemies. Um, clip size decreases reload time. All shots will tend to face the same angle as the last shot fired. That might be over, like that sounds like an annoying impediment, but honestly, I think the reloading clip size might. Yeah, be that's worth exactly it. what I was just thinking, and I can, I can. Also, you have homing, which might help override it. How much uh, do you have enough to uh, upgrade your energy? 
Nah. Oh wait. Nah. I'm at six. No. So sad. So sad. So sad. He's so lame. Right, let's go. Also, the scrapping allows us to get quite a lot of armor here. Honestly, that module that allows you to get armor for scrapping and one armor per floor is very, very good. A absolutely, yeah. And my survivability has skyrocketed. Yeah, uh, not sure what was up with those green bullets, but, you know, executive decision as your supervisor, I say you're, you're in the clear on that one. Yeah. Also, people know that I cheat anyways, so it's not exactly a big deal. No, it's a, it's about the honor. Oh, wait, did I get another shot in my clip? Yeah, that's what one of the things for the uh, nice. the redirect module was. It was uh, shot speed and clip size. Not, not shot speed, uh, fire rate and clip size. This is what I mean by every mm -hmm. modular run feels like it's one or two modules off being crazy. Yeah. <laughs> We don't even need our charge shot, this is just- and the, the amount of pull because of the amount of shots is crazy. Just try not to die stupid, like in a stupid way, preferably. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to die too easily because I can just create um, health when I need it, like as long as there's stuff on the floor. True. Anyways, here's Fusilier. He's dying pretty quick. Man. The only thing I will say is the um, the particle effects are maybe a little much. I, the nah, game is, dude, this the is, game is lagging. Bleed you're here for. The game is lagging quite bad. How's that bit, how's that bit rate, man? Guys, how's that bit rate on you? Oh my god, the damage! What is going on? Huh? Well, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Who the fuck even knows? That the this is gonna absolutely fuck the bit rate on YouTube. Oh, Holy yeah. shit! Get it. Scrap it. Scrap. I love, I love scrap. That is definitely one thing I've noticed with Bunny, and it's not a bad thing. He definitely loves to go, like, OTT with the visual effects, which sometimes can just be fucking cool, but in times like this, leads to some issues. <laughs> yeah, I, um... My modular run, the one I beat the past on, uh, I had something similar. I had uh, five shot salute and scatter shot and homing and piercing and bouncing and uh, chain lightning. Nice. And it just filled the room with blue. Gotta love it. 20% um, faster reload. That's pretty good. Um... Um, projectiles now fire out short range damaging beams that point in the direction the projectile is moving. That seems pretty amazing. Yeah, we'll take that and we'll we'll see when we can afford to actually equip that. How far are we off that right now? We lagged okay. horribly. It's 10, wasn't it? Yeah, so we, we need a little bit more scrap and then hopefully a master round and we can equip that. It's a shame that your homing is tied to your gravity well. Because the homing is one of the things making this run so powerful, but it's yeah. also the thing making your projectiles bleed your eyes. Yep. Where's the remove visual effects module? Do you know, a mod that, that like, calmed down the, the, the visual effects would be quite nice. <laughs> I just mean, like, I don't know, uh, a, an additional module for modular that's, like, tier 1. It, like, removes visual effects from your projectiles, but adds damage for each one it removes. That'd be pretty good. Just, just like, a really weird meta gimmick item. Right. Is the secret room through here? Can I even check for secret rooms with this thing? No, you can't. There's a module that you need to get if you want to check for secret rooms. So, it, it looks like it's through here, right? It's not through that room. Through here. Uh, I don't think they can be off many of our rooms, so... There you go. Almost certainly. <gasps> Hello. Oh, you fucker. Why? Why? I blame Dodro. Why isn't it possible? Why isn't it possible? <laughs> it's just not. Oh, <laughs> uh, my favorite one of those is, uh, have you seen the one with Crash Bandicoot? No, I don't think so. 
someone made an animation of the original uh, PlayStation Crash Bandicoot model falling in a pit with the Aku Aku invincibility <laughs> mask. Like, because of course, I, I never played Crash Bandicoot as a kid, but from what I've I heard, just... a lot of people tried to see if they could survive the pitfall with the Aku yeah, Aku yeah, mask. Yeah. And it's like, why isn't it possible? It's just not. <laughs> <laughs> see, explaining the joke makes it funnier. It definitely does. Always. Oh, I pulled every enemy into myself. Whoops. Oh, dude, you know, you know what? Oh. It does come to. Uh... Mm -hmm. you okay. One thing that really pisses me off, and this is no, no slight to Bunny, but still, I keep trying to fucking scrap stuff and accidentally walking into it and picking it up. What? How? Like, I, I just tried to scrap that blank then and I got too close to it and picked it up. Because you need to be so close to them in order for you to actually be able to scrap them. I then There needs to be like a radius increase oh. on like... The Don't scrapping. you have slow walking on controller? Yeah, and I still fucked it up. <laughs> Only a bad workman blames his tools. Honestly, it's not really Bunny's fault, I'm just angry at it. Yeah, he's just mad. Um... Uh, but speaking of childhood games, what were your childhood games? Uh, like, to, so my, my the first games I ever played um, were Tomb Raider, uh, Tomb Raider 2, and uh, Gran Turismo, the racing game. Um, a lot of the games that I, that I really sort of vividly remember from my childhood um, were on the PlayStation 2. Um, one of them was called... Um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, that, that game is fucking amazing. Played that an absolute ton. Um, there's another one called Cell Damage Overdrive, which was sort of a cartoony, funny, um, like, rally um, demolition derby game, which was really fun. Um, oh, 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 you've just awoken memories inside me of my childhood. <laughs> oh. What was the game called that you were describing? Cell Damage Overdrive. I don't think that was it, but I also remember having a Demolition Derby game on PC, and it was absolutely terrible and shitty, and I didn't know how to play it at all, and it was also kind of like a racing game, but with ramps, and you could make your own areas, and I Oh, do no, not you remember. definitely couldn't make your own areas in this one. Like, I... <laughs> it was a slaughter. Um, I... I don't remember anything else about it. I, I just remember it had these really bad 3D graphics. It had like one of, oh, there's a secret room. Ah. Oh. It had one of those, uh, those like soundtracks that's trying too hard to be rock and rolling on like <laughs> shitty, shitty computer speakers. Because I didn't have any, any consoles. Uh, that's a lie. I have a, I have a PSP sitting in a closet that I inherited from my cousin. I say inherited like PSP. he died. He just, he just, <laughs> grew up and then his, it moved down his parents were like you want this um no but uh, and the only games I've ever played on that were really shitty party games yeah um where you had like these buzz controllers which were made for trivia games right yeah yeah there were these trivia games called like buzz trivia and you had trivia controllers with a big red button and then orange, yellow, green, and blue buttons on them. And you would have to press the buttons to answer the trivia questions. But they adapted... The, the, this company realized that kids don't want to play trivia. Yeah. So they made uh, kids' party games for uh, designed to be played with these controllers. Strange. <laughs> Good idea, but strange. Absolutely strange, yeah. Um, and I remember we had two of them, and I remember playing them. More gravity, well. Prodigiously. Do I want stronger gravity? I mean, you um, may as well at this point. Uh, also, in the in brackets, the yellow number next to the cost is how much uh, energy subsequent. Yes, I, I realize cost. that. Yeah. So it's um, not going to cost another three energy if you get another one. Oh, like the, yeah, that. this is the one that made my run absolutely insane. Yeah, it's the one that made my run insane last time as well. Um. Anyways, yeah, so there was this one called Jungle Party, where you play as a bunch of monkeys and do jungle shit, and then you get ranked by how good you are at being a monkey. <laughs> nice. Okay. 
and there was another one called Ace Races. Which was a faux racing game, which of course it couldn't actually be a racing game because um, yeah. d- 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 you don't have directional buttons on this trivia controller. I've, I've actually considered putting the, that trivia controller into the into Gungeon as an item or gun because I just think it's a funny design for a thing. Um, oh, another game I used to play, by the way, is that uh, Ape Escape. Goddamn Ape, Ape Escape! Escape. So I've good. heard about that. I've heard about that. Uh, which one is that? Is that no? Sorry, I was thinking of Sonic with the monkey destruction switch. How the fuck? I gotta say, how did I not get hit there? This is so laggy, and this guy keeps using the fucking thing that turns me into stone, which is kind of bullshit. <laughs> there's a um, there's an item in one of the Sonic games I think called a monkey destruction switch, that blows up all the monkeys. And that's such just such a funny co- name for a thing. Yeah. You know? That I've always... Uh, I saw that in a video once, and... I've just never been able to forget that. So, uh, the Ace Racers quote-unquote racing game was more of a timing game. Yeah. Where you press one button to accelerate and it steers automatically and you just have to uh, like manage your speed throughout the track like you're a kid playing you ever played those um rc cars yeah no. they're on like a track and yeah, you yeah press yeah. something and all they do is speed up and if you make them go too fast they fly off the track and hit your grandmother in the eye <laughs> yep <laughs> they were amazing yeah um, it, the game basically played like that, where you just had to manage your speed to not spin out on corners, and if you knew how to do that, you were pretty much the uh, the god. There was another, another really game made. I used to play that was like a Mario Kart ripoff uh, called um, RC Revenge Pro. That was another really good game. I, I actually got out my PlayStation 2 and played it for like a good few hours about a month ago, because it's just nostalgic. I have a lot of games, because the first games I ever played were... Like, early PC edutainment games. Mm, yeah. Also, Jungle Party had a, an orangutan in it that I'm 90% sure is a, a registered sex offender. <laughs> of course, of course. I mean, like, Always gotta have the registered there, sex look, offender monkey. Look up, look up footage, and this is for everyone watching. You don't have to, Luke. Look up footage of uh, Jungle Party uh, Buzz Kids. <laughs> I realized now when I say it like that, it sounds even worse. He doesn't buzz kids, no, at least not on camera. Uh, the the company, the the line of games is called Buzz Kids. <laughs> so just look up footage for Jungle Party from Buzz Kids, and you'll see the orangutan acting as like a referee in some of the stages. And tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> oh lord. Um. Right. Don't pick up this blank this time, you fucking moron. Don't drop it in the fucking that, ocean either. That was a very large sight circle, you know. That's it was a very large yeah, yeah. range. I gotta say, I'm just dumb. Um. So I, uh, people are like, oh, how can you not play on controller? Because I, I have genuinely, for as long as I've been playing games, I, I've been playing them on a keyboard and mouse. Yeah. Like, I a lot of people who played controller. I feel played controller when they were younger because it was a cheaper option. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To be fair, I started out I started out on PC gaming pretty early on. So my first ever console was a PlayStation One that my dad bought, um, and then I got a PS2. But during that time, I was also PC gaming. The first the first game I remember playing, uh, like properly remember playing, is a game called Enemy Territory Wolfenstein on PC when I was about seven. Oh, you're playing a Wolfenstein game? Yeah, yeah. My at fa- seven? At seven, yeah. What were your parents feeding you? Yeah, to be fair, I, they, they stopped me playing it after a while. <laughs> what we, it's technically edutainment, because we teach him to kill Nazis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, from, um, from like from like seven to like eight, I was playing that, and then from like eight into like 12, I wasn't allowed to play it anymore. <laughs> you know what? That makes perfect sense. Um, so, 
the, my earliest gaming memory is a game that I cannot remember the name of. I only remember vague, very vague memories. It was a was a PC game, right? Mm -hmm. That where you click around in an environment that looks like it was drawn in MS Paint, and you do shit, and it was like. Oh, it was a point and click adventure game. No, it wasn't an adventure. It was just like a fuck around game and hope the kids learn something, I guess. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I have three memories of this game, right? Only three memories. One of them is of like a tile, a, a tile mini game almost. Where you press, where you designed like tiles, and then filled them in with colors. Like you had, you picked octagonal tiling or di uh, diamond tiling or whatever, and then you picked like a, a main color and a secondary color, and it would read out the colors as you clicked on them. And that's, like, I remember, I remember distinctly, uh, like a voice going octagons, <laughs> and another voice saying. Turquoise. <laughs> uh, French. And I, I remember the turquoise voice because I was a kid and I thought uh, turquoise was such a, a novel and in I was I was basically like a the seven year old equivalent of a hipster. It's like yeah. no, I don't like I don't like those plebeian colours that all the other children at, at school like. I'm I'm into some I'm into some more refined and obscure colours like turquoise. I don't know if you've heard of him. I'm a really I'm, I don't know if you've heard of it. I'm a really big fan of its work. <laughs> Have you heard of turquoise? Turquoise, um, so posh. And I distinctly remember that because yeah, I was basically like a hipster child who thought I was really cool because I knew what turquoise was. Um. <laughs> Oh, and that's that's the only reason I remember turquoise. <laughs> and the only other memory I have is that there was a part of the game that would play that would play uh, nursery rhymes, basically. Yeah. And it would show these little like pseudo animated segments where different uh, screen elements would jump around as it sang a nursery rhyme. Mm. And... I remember uh, that it had Bingo was his name of. <laughs> Bingo was and his Bingo name was his name And it had five mince pies in the baker's shop. Yeah. Which... As a kid, I thought, that's fucking disgusting, right? <laughs> because, obviously, uh, when it says mince pies, it doesn't mean mince meat. No. I, I, for the longest time, swore down that I did not like mince pies until I realized it wasn't meat. Yeah. I don't like... I don't like mince meat. Christmas uh, mince meat. <laughs> it's just... The texture and everything disgusts me. With mince meat. But... So that, as a kid, they didn't have, a, obviously they didn't have a fucking disclaimer that, yeah. oh, the mince pies, because uh, for anyone, because I, I'm shocked, like, frankly, like, I don't like mince pies, but I find it weirder that there are some parts of the world that don't have them. Yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. in normal people society, uh, meat pies are a thing, and mince pies are pies made out of mince meat. They're not whatever fucking minced fruit and dates and sugar and whatever the hell you have in America. So, I was here this this nursery rhyme about mince pies in the baker's shop with sugar on the top. <laughs> and I'd be, that's disgusting. Why? <laughs> Who would put sugar on meat? Yeah, this, like, this I, sounds I psychotic. I, I am very staunchly against candied meats. I fucking hate uh, sugary meats. The only one that I will, like, say that I enjoy is I will put maple syrup on pancakes if it's got, like, savory stuff like bacon on it. I enjoy that. I won't, even, I won't even do that. But although everything else I'm kind of with you, I'm not. Like, not I, I recognize that that's normal. 
but I won't even do that. I I am very staunchly of the opinion that um, uh, umami and sweet do not go together. That's fair. That's fair. And uh, of course, this has led to family fighting. <laughs> Don't forget to get the bullet, by the way. Oh yeah. Why is this just not breaking? What's what's going on here? Probably because you're only hitting it with like okay, one projectile each time you fire. Can I still? Oh, you, you can, can scrap jump. It's nice. I swear, in my last run, I couldn't. That's... <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> um. So. so... Oh, what was I gonna say? Right. Um. Yeah. Once for Christmas, my aunt. Uh, brought to the family gathering uh, a smoked salmon, which is usually my favorite food. Yeah, I remember you saying. Oh, However, bollocks. she um she had coated it in brown sugar. Mmm. Yeah. Not not into that at all. And it was so sweet, and I thought it was disgusting, and everyone else enjoyed it thoroughly, and I was like. Who are are you? My, really, my family? Are you skinwalkers? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What's I going on I, here? I, I, like, I expressly forbade her. I had no, I had no, you know, actual position of power to forbid anything. Uh, but I expressly forbade her from ever doing that again. That is fair. Like, I completely agree with you there. And now she's like, well, I just won't make salmon for you then. It's like, good. If that's how you make salmon, <laughs> then it's better that you don't ruin it. Yeah, I, I'd rather have there be no salmon than salmon that I can't eat. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's that thing from before. I was went on off on off on a tangent about mince pies. That's probably the the first game I remember playing. Yeah, I, I played a lot of Pokemon um, as well. I remember playing that. I've got like really vivid memories of um, of playing um, Gran Turismo. Oh my god, you crafty bastard! What? Do you realize what you just did? Yeah, yeah, I did it on purpose. I, I skipped the line at configure and fight. Yeah, that is that is brilliant. I'd never even considered that as a strategy before. Well done. I love doing that. It's great. Uh, you're going straight to the pass, so it doesn't yeah. really matter which module you pick. Um, I gotta say, yeah, I, like, I, I haven't actually used Lama Configurum in a really long time just because I haven't seen it in a really long time, but in vanilla, before I played modded, it was one of my favorite active items, um, and I- Don't I, go I, to the hell. Yeah, yeah, I figured out pretty early that, yeah, you can, on any boss fight, even mini bosses, it will kill all minions when the boss dies, so you can use Lama Configurum right as you're about to kill the boss to completely skip it. Yeah. I never thought of it that way, but yeah, that, you're absolutely right. That's a brilliant strategy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, what, what I was going to say playing. is um, when I played, like, I remember playing Gran Turismo, and I remember, like, absolutely bawling my eyes out crying because my cousin came over and deleted my save file, and I had, like, everything unlocked. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but that's, oh, the idea of ch it was uh, children crying makes me devastating. laugh. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. Because, um, like, in Gran Turismo as well, there's always, like, one car that's, like, a ridiculous cost. Like, it's super expensive, and I'd just managed to buy it. I've been saving up for it forever. Just managed to buy it. And, um, yeah, all gone. Also, did you realize your first time through that that, on the, the trolley there, that's the HM Prime boss from the dungeon? Oh, is it? Huh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It even says when you interact with it, an HM Prime unit recently finished, I'll see it again. Law! There's law! It's pretty cool. By the way, we are going to die on this pass. There's no way I'm going to beat this. <laughs> take it slowly and pay attention. I'll take Just you pay attention to pay the attention. game while I ramble. Yes. Continue on with your ramblings, good sir. I, I also remember a magic school bus edutainment game for nice. the PC that I would play until the disc got scratched and I couldn't play it anymore. Oh, do you know, do you know what I remember doing? I remember when I was a kid, I had the Incredible Hulk game for PS2 and I fucking loved it and it got scratched and stopped working and I was devastated. And so, on a, on a, on a, oh fuck's sake, I got stuck on the goddamn doorway. Fuck you, game. 
Oh, I've already, I've already fucked it. Remember, you do get heals in this area. If not enough. Well enough Honestly, not enough. Uh, but anyways, I remember that I, um, I fucking put it in the sink and scrubbed it with water, and it fucking fixed it. <laughs> like. Like, for so long, I was, like, telling other, like, telling friends and, like, thinking to myself that, yes, you just, oh. There's a laser there that I didn't see. Um, I don't know how. Because I'm fucking stupid, that's how. Um, yeah, and, like, for the longest time, I thought that that's how you fix discs. You just put them under the sink and rinse them, because it worked last time. Oh, my God. The idea! That's something I could absolutely see you doing as an adult. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this this enemy like, fucking sucks on controller. I will say that uh, you might, Bunny, if you're listening, you might be able to make it so that the main body is no longer an auto-aim target, which would great make it significantly simpler to kill. What the fuck did I just take damage to? Did I just walk you into one of these things? Yeah. Yeah, you walked into one of the blue things on the ground. I didn't even Not see sure it spawn. Not sure if they should deal contact damage, but I mean... You basically just tripped onto a, a fucking... I told you that we wouldn't live through this. It's been two rooms. There's like 15,000 oh. rooms. Well, I don't know. Cry about it then. Just deal with it. I mean, what else, how else are you going to end oh the run? My God. Dying on the lich or killing the lich? At least that's why you're, you're trying to make progress. I also can't fucking deal with these snipers. I, I love the railgun snipers. Like, they're such an evil, like, design for an enemy, but they're so cool. Damn it, they hit me. Yeah, you probably have to dodge when they're about to shoot. Also, this champion above me, the one with the skulls is an absolute pain in the ass on controller too, because it auto aims on the skulls. Yeah, that's probably because Bunny just took those skulls from the dragon fight, uh, and I think they might have an auto aim target on the dragon fight. Yeah. So maybe I'd recommend uh, Bunny uh, deleting the auto aim target component to, to be fair, of those skulls. To be fair, um, this is just. It just obviously goes to show that Bunny doesn't have a controller. There are tons of things in Bunny's mod that have auto aim that shouldn't. So I think I think there just needs to be a general pass over loads of the enemies so that they don't get auto aim on them. Because you know those little I think I think I think they got fixed. But you know those little turret things that have the spinny shots around them, the little traps. Those things auto aim, or at least they used to. I can't remember if they still do. They used to because they 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 actually used to be enemies, but Bunny changed them to be. Traps. Traps, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that removed the auto aim from them as a side effect. But yeah, anyways, but... that was that was a, a good old run. I knew we were gonna die in the past because this past is very long and very hard. I just I don't have enough experience with it yet to hey! understand how to beat it. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, I can keep rambling you about uh, stuff in another we'll episode. Just, exactly, yeah. Right, see you guys in the next one.